Greetings from Rob Hall, President of Christ Memorial Lutheran Church and School. I'm speaking to all of our neighbors, whether they are regular worshipers in Malvern, students in our school, or online participants from my home office. You know the government authorities at all levels have given various orders and suggestions to protect us both in the short and long term. Sometimes their advice varies, which may mean that some authorities are better than others. But, as it is noted in Romans 13.1, the authorities that exist have been established by God. We do not want to rebel against authorities who requested all the places of worship, schools, and groups to desist from meeting for two weeks. So, our elders, pastor, and preschool director worked together and had online services only by just three days later. We will continue to follow the guidelines of the authorities as they unfold in coming weeks and maybe months. We are making and executing contingency plans with oversight from our elders and officers. The elders were in constant communications on Friday the 13th and Saturday, and the council met on Monday, March 16th. They will meet again as our changing situation warrants. We have a small number of people who will check on the building from time to time. But our real concern is you. Thus, we are not allowing meetings of any kind in the building. Our limited team will continue to process mail and packages and things along that line. When we know the date that we can restart the preschool, we will adjust the calendar for the rest of the year. In the meantime, keep those kids safe. We will continue to have worship services online. If you happen to see scenes in the building with people, please know they are from past recordings. I do need to talk finances for a moment. We will continue to meet our financial obligations to creditors and employees, but we will be stopping all discretionary spending. This is a realistic response to uncertainty. We recognize that some families will be impacted by business closures. We should expect them to reduce their offerings because, as we said in our November commitment drive, you have the opportunity to change your intentions if your circumstances change. If you check our website, you will very shortly see some alternative ways to make your contributions. If you mail several offerings in the same envelope, we will process them in keeping with the dates on them. All that said, remember, you are our greatest concern. Please do not take unnecessary risks. Keep your six-foot distances. Wash your hands. Read your Bibles. Watch the Lenten and Sunday services. And pray for your pastors, elders, and officers. I can't tell you how much I am looking forward to seeing you all again.